Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha. So today I wanted to share with you guys because I do get sent quite a bit of product um, from brands or PR companies and I really wanted to share with you guys my go-to products that I usually carry with me in my bag or it's always in my drawer that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I wanted to share these products with you. What I've been using religiously right now that's in my makeup drawer all the time um, or my makeup bag I should bring it to work um, is the Imani Deluxe Cream Foundation. And you guys have probably seen me use this foundation in um, a couple of my makeup videos that I film. Um, I don't really talk about it, so which is why I kind of want to share with you guys the type of products that I use so you have a more in-depth knowledge of what I'm using instead of just seeing me pat it on my face in um, high speed because <laughs> no one makes their makeup like that. No one does their makeup that fast. And Imani is actually a vegan cosmetic, pro uh, vegan foundation, which is cool because I have very sensitive skin. So what I put on my face, um, I need to make sure that it doesn't create eczema of any kind. But so far I've been using this religiously and it's been, yeah, it's been really good. But I do like that it's vegan and um, I mean, I don't only use vegan products. I've also been using this religiously. You can kind of see it. Um, this is the sign of me using it a little bit too much. But this is the Rimmel London, hope, I hope I said that right, Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. Um, so I usually put it on top of my foundation just to get rid of any greasiness. My skin is usually not very oily, it's more towards the dry or combination side. Um, so I don't use this too, too much. But after work, if I'm going to an event later on, then I usually put on some powder so I don't look like a grease ball. I am a big fan of contouring, Cheaper. but I've been using Essence Shape Your Face for the longest time. Um, it doesn't seem to be running out anytime soon. It's a contouring palette. There's a couple different shades. I, as you can see, I've been using this shade the most. So you can always see um, that I bring with me in my little makeup pouch when I go to work is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush. And this is my favorite blush. It's not used very often because when I get excited, my cheeks just turn pink naturally. So it looks like I have blush all the time. But when I go for some events, I love this shade. It's almost like a peach shade. I'm not a big fan of the baby pink blushes because it kind of looks weird in my skin tone, but this is one of my favorites. It's natural, it gives you that glow. And um, in the summer, especially when the sun hits your face, you look like <laughs> Yeah, so next up of what you can find in my makeup bag. Um, so I use this sparingly. It's actually one of my favorite. This is um, Liz Watier. And I need to open this so you can see. Oh no, oh no, the plastic foam came out. Okay, but this is a highlighter palette. And I really like this because if it's not too fancy of an event and I just kind of want that nice shimmer um, on my cheeks, above my cheekbones, then I use this because it's pretty, it goes on, it's noticeable, but it's not too crazy like cream highlighter, which comes my next product that like the Makeup Revolution highlighter, it's liquid. Um, you've also seen this in my makeup videos before. I don't use it very often, but I hope you can see this, but it's a nice gold. I'll try to put my hand actually. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah, so creates this really nice shimmer. Of course, it is definitely more noticeable than the powder Lisa Wattier highlighter. So I do use this sparingly and only for certain events. Okay, so I usually use two um, eyeshadow palettes. They're both from Urban Decay and they're my favorite and I use it religiously because I love it so much and it's so versatile. The Naked Urban Decay Palette. Pretty sure a lot of you guys have it. If you don't, it's really good if you're going for a palette that has all the shades that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's nothing too crazy, but still has a good variety. Um, so this is how the inside looks. You can see it's very heavily used, <laughs> but I've had this for, I'm gonna say a year and a half. I know it's not that long, but I, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. And on the flip side, if it's um, if I'm going to an event after work, um, because I do work a full-time job, if you guys don't know that about me, then I also am a full-time blogger. 
slash YouTuber slash I do TV. For the events that I go to in the night, I usually go with the Naked Urban Decay palette, but this is for smoky eyes. And I'll open it and show you guys. So as you can see, there are a lot more darker colors and darker shades to create a nice smoky eye. At this moment, I usually try and switch out my mascara every three to four months. I'm really bad. I have a really bad habit of forgetting and then I get eczema in my eye area and it's really bad. So don't forget to switch out your mascaras and use a new one every three to four months. Using is the Elme Liquid Lash Extension Mascara and I usually use this as the first coat to just kind of elongate the lashes. One thing I find that Elme, this one that I'm using in particular, is really good to create the length because I have really short eyelashes and this has been helping a lot with creating that volume at the root of your eyelashes and creating that long length. And it's really embarrassing but I just started to really understand how to put mascara on properly. I had to watch a ton of YouTube videos because apparently I've been doing this all wrong. But um, finally, I have discovered um, the wrong of my ways and I'm using mascara properly now. But I use this for my first coat and for my second coat, I'm using the Lancome Monster Big and this is really, really good for creating volume. So I use this to create the length of my lashes and I create um, and I use this for the volume. Also let me know if you guys have any favorite mascaras that you use on a day-to-day -day basis um, or if you have shorter lashes like I do and you really want to create that volume and length um, so you look like you're awake. <laughs> let me know in the comments below so that I can check it out. I have finally found one of my absolute favorite eyeliners of all time. It doesn't make my eyes itchy, it goes on really smoothly, and it's really easy to apply, and it's really cute. So this is, if you watch my Insta stories, you already know. But for you guys who are watching this for the first time, it's my Shiseido, what is it called? Instroke Eyeliner. It's one of my favorites. And what I love about it, it comes in a little box with a brush. So it's really easy and very compact to bring when you're traveling or to work and it doesn't take a lot of space. So it comes with this very nice fine tip brush um, and my favorite part about this eyeliner is that there's this little crease in between where you actually can wipe off excess, um, like excess um, uh, um, liquid eyeliner over here so you don't use too much and you don't waste because that's what I find with some liquid liners is that you tend to waste product but this is really good I've been using it recently and I love it it doesn't make my eyes itch it's waterproof and because I have very watery eyes I'm not sure about you guys but I have very watery eyes and so this definitely helps a bunch because I also wear contact lenses so you can imagine when my eyes start to water, the makeup goes into my eye and it just gets really uncomfortable. Of course, in every makeup cabinet or bag, you have to have brushes and these are some of my favorite brushes. You've also seen them in a makeup video before. I'll probably link it somewhere here so you can rewatch them. But these brushes are from Rexall. They're part of their um, kit brand and it comes in an array. So it's also labeled. I think I mentioned this before last time too. I love that it's labeled because I don't know sometimes which brush is used for what. Um, but yeah, these two brushes are always in my makeup bag. Yes, I think we can move on to the lips. I like to carry two shades of lipstick. Um, one is a more muted shade like what I'm wearing right now and then one a little bit darker, a little bit darker red or pink. So in my bag right now I have what I'm wearing also is the Milani um, lip cream. It's matte as you can see and this is one of my favorite colors. It took me forever to find the shade because I've been obsessed with the shade for the longest time and I always see like, pictures of lipsticks and I'm like, okay, that's the shade I want and I buy it and I realize it's not really the shade that it appeared to be. But this looks like this <laughs> and it's one of my favorite. Milani is also a vegan cosmetic so if you guys only use vegan products, this is something you should check out. And my second lipstick that I have in my bag is by Elizabeth Arden. This is more of a pink. It took me forever to try and figure out how to like get the lipstick out, but you kind of push, push it here on the label. Oh, upside down. And yes, don't know if you can see it, but it's more of a pink shade and it kind of glosses over much easier. Like if I'm at a stoplight, don't do this, but I put this lipstick on, it's a little bit easier than Milani. Ooh, one more thing. I just got this from Christian Le Baton. Christian Le Baton, did you say that right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and I haven't tried this out. I haven't because I just, I love the packaging so much. I can't really get it. 
Anyway, this is how it looks like. Isn't it so pretty? It's gorgeous, which is why I haven't used it because I didn't want to take it out of the box. And you know, I didn't want to ruin it. I wanted to keep it as pristine looking as it can for the longest time. But when I finally try this, I'll be sure to share with you guys on my Instagram story. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. Before we're gonna talk about fragrances. So I usually go with two fragrances that I absolutely love, both for work or on the weekend or during events. It really depends on the type of scent that I wanna go for or how I'm feeling the day of. Um, but I have been obsessed with Jo Malone. This is actually my first fragrance from them. And I stood at the, um, just trying out the different scents for the longest time. And I finally settled with the Nectar and Blossom and honey scent. It has this hint of peach in it and nectarines. It smells sweet and not too overpowering because certain scents can, can, at least for me, I have allergies when it's too strong, gives me headaches. But this is a very subtle scent that's also very feminine and it smells like fruit and it smells delicious and I love it. Nectarine Blossom and Honey. It's also by Le Beton Beauty. And this is the smaller size. Okay, I forgot the name. Bikini Kesta Sera. Intimate and compelling. <laughs> but um, I love this scent as well. It's a little bit stronger than the Joan Malone scent, so I usually keep this for a bigger event that's so a little bit more classier. Um, but it also does have a fruity tinge to it. Actually, no. It's more floral. It smells good. <laughs> but this is really handy when I just want to put it in my purse. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. This has been a longer video than usual, but I really wanted to let you guys know, catch a glimpse of what's inside my makeup bag and my makeup drawer at home because you see all these makeup videos that I do and I don't really take the time to explain what each product's about and, and how they look and just really tell you more about why I love it. And so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions of products that I should try out. Thanks so much for watching and I would love it if you hit the subscribe button somewhere here. Please subscribe to my channel. It's I've been making videos for quite some time but never really tried to you know, share it too too much. So I really appreciate if you guys could hit the subscribe button, watch the other videos on my channel, let me know what you like and I'll see you next time.